This is how we can translate our CSV, Excel or even text files using Pandas and Google Translator. So first of all we have to install Google Translator and once done we have to import Pandas and Translator from Google Trans library and now I am creating a translate to English function and passing some text here. Then our translated text will be generated using this uh, translator dot translate method and we have to pass our original text here and we have to pass the source language which is german here and de is for german and the destination language which is en english you can change it to french or hindi like fr for french hi for hindi and so on same goes for destination language and then we are printing our ta original text and the translated text and i'm returning the translated text so quickly run it then i'm reading the excel file in this df data frame and same goes for csv file you can do now just see how our data frame looks so i'm just passing some column names for our data frame now it looks a bit better then we have two choices either we can apply the translation to whole data frame or whole file or we can just apply it for specific columns so right now i'm creating a df1 data frame from our df by applying this translate method on it it's translating our excel file and you can see this was the German text and this is our translated text. And same goes on for other rows. This will take some time according to your file size. So be patient. Once done, we can check our data frame. So this is our DF1 and you can see this one contains the English text. Now let's see for column. So I'm applying the translation to a column of DF and I'm creating a new column out of it. And you can see uh, the translation is going on for this column also. Once done, we can now check it out. So this is how our uh, original column was and this is its translated English version. And finally, we can convert our data frame to a CSV. So I'm converting it into this translated.csv. And you can see this one contains the English text only. And see, this one is in English. And if you are getting some limit errors, then you can just use this read timeout and apply it to our function. Then it should work fine. Comment down if you find this helpful.